today's video I am going to be doing some tips and some DIYs for getting your life organized. So I'm somebody that likes to stay relatively organized in the sense that I find it helps a lot with my anxiety but also just because I find it kind of fun I guess in a weird way to get organized. So these are just some little things that I have found have helped me keep my life a little bit more organized as well as some fun DIYs that you can put up in your room or in your apartment or in your dorm room or in your bedroom wherever you want but they're just gonna help you keep on track with things that you need to get done as well as keep things organized for yourself I will also be doing a giveaway in this video so the giveaway is going to be of you'll get the little to-do list that I made and then when you open up the little to-do list that actually has like the little checks where you can put the check marks and the lines where you can write down your to-do list every night. You'll also be getting a calendar, that dry erase calendar that you can put up on your wall and write what you need to do for the month. You'll be getting a bunch of different color dry erase markers so that you can color coordinate like I did. And then the other dry erase you'll be getting is a one you can put beside the month one and this one is a week one so you can write down what you need to do for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And this one has cute little clips like appointments, bills, shopping, and coupons and little areas of other things you can write as well as little labels down here that you can put into different days of the week. So this one's just like a more in-depth weekly what to do as well as the month one that you'll get which you can fill out of things that you need to do throughout the entire month. And along with that I will be giving away a agenda just like mine. I'm going to basically choose the winner, allow the winner to send me a bunch of pictures and I will design an agenda for them and then ship it out to you. And so along with your agenda you'll be getting a pack of markers like I used in the video so this is the little color coordinated marker pens that you can use for your agenda as well as a little pack of stick it notes or post it notes so that you can keep everything organized inside. So you'll be getting that along with a $15 Starbucks gift card and there will also be a second prize winner. So the second prize winner will also be getting a little dry erase board. This one is just clear so they can write maybe a list of things they need to do throughout the month, their goals for the month, whatever it is, you'll be getting this one here as well as the agenda that you will be able to design and I will send out to you some marker pens for your agenda as well as some post-it notes for your agenda. Those will be the two giveaways. To find out how to enter, just check the description box down below and other than that, keep watching for some tips and DIYs for getting your life organized. You make a girl go ooh, I'm in love, love Did you see that shooting my first tip and one of the most important is to choose a certain amount of years and make your goals for that certain amount. So I chose five years and I wrote down things I want to have accomplished by the next five years so that no matter what at the end of the day I can ask myself if I've done something to get closer to those goals. Another way I like to keep on track is a little bit more short term. I get a calendar and I put it up on my wall and it's for the full month and I'll color coordinate coordinate, sorry, things that I need to do that month, whether it's certain appointments, videos I need to film, and then on the side, I'll do a to-do list of things that don't fit in, like doing a channel intro or getting my taxes done. So I like to keep that organized and just above my desk so I can always see what I need to be doing that day. And then even more short term, I love to use my agenda. This thing is like my lifesaver. So I'll flip to the week that it currently is and write a little bit more in depth. And I'll also write things like what I want to do for working out that week, which days I'm going to be going out for lunch and stuff like that. And I also like to use post-it notes for things that might not stay the same so I can flip them around. And my agenda itself, I'll leave a link to down below, but I designed the front and back on a certain website. I'll leave it down below for you guys. And I love it because you can completely personalize the entire inside and outside and choose everything. And if agendas aren't so much your thing, you could easily just write to-do lists. At the end of the night, I like to just sit down and write down the things that I need to do. Usually it is in my agenda, but if you don't have one, just grab a piece of paper or a notebook and write down all the things you need to do the following day so that you can go to sleep with your mind at ease. 
and then you can just tack it up anywhere that you're going to see it the next day and then once the following day comes you can wake up, grab your to-do list and get started right away. And if you don't really have a place on your wall to tack up the really important papers, this is a cute little DIY you can do that looks very decorative but is also really, really efficient. So just take little pieces of tape and mask out little designs that you want to do. I mean, you could even do full out stencils with this. You could get really creative and then just pick some of your favorite colors and paint on the little um, cork board so that you have cute little designs so that it's not just a boring old brown cork board. The best part about this DIY is you can get really creative with the different designs and colors that you want to do and really make it personalized for your room. And if you're someone that doesn't necessarily want or like to paint, you could just use pretty decorative tape like this. Um, this is some scotch tape, but you could also use like washi tape or whatever that stuff is called and just get stuff that's really decorative and tape it onto the board just so that it looks prettier once you hang it up on your wall. And once done, you can tack up important things that you can't forget or papers that are super important. And if you don't want to hang up certain papers on your wall, another thing I like to do is get a little file quarter to put in receipts or my passport or just papers that I cannot lose. It's a really easy place to keep things and you always know where your important papers are. Another really easy tip is to declutter and get rid of things you don't need. Whether you're donating it to like Goodwill or to charity or if you're just giving it away to some friends, then just declutter and anything that you don't use or need anymore, get rid of it. The less the better. And if you're finding that you seem constantly broke, another really important tip to getting organized in your life is creating yourself a little budget, whether you do this on a notepad or on the computer, just write down the amount of income you have coming in, whether you work a job or if you get an allowance, and then write down all the expenses that you need to pay. So rent, phone, groceries, your car, whatever it is you own, and then max that out as to what it comes as to total, then put a little bit of money into savings, and the rest is just some extra expenses that you can use for experiences, like going to the movies or going out for lunch with your friends, and that way you have a budget that you know you can't go over for the whole month and it just keeps you a little bit more organized with your money. And if you really want to get crafty, you could make little DIY chalkboards for your room, your kitchen, your apartment, wherever it is. So I just grabbed these little wood canvases, but you could do this on frames, on mirrors, you could do this on so many different things, and then just some chalkboard paint, or if you can't find any chalkboard paint, I just use some matte satin black uh, spray paint, and just spray paint your frames or your wooden canvases, and then using some chalk, or you can use the chalk markers like I used, I just mapped out little things like what we were going to eat for the whole week, so that we have it all planned out or you could write your grocery list you could really get creative with this one or even use it just as your to-do list and wash it down every night and then my last tip is just to take 15 minutes out of every single day to just do a little quick cleanup of your area whether you're it's just your bedroom your dorm room your full apartment whatever it is taking just 15 minutes to just quickly clean up will make a world of a difference and keep things more clean and organized overall So those are all of my tips and little DIYs for ways to get your life a bit more organized. All the links I talked about will be down below as well as the giveaway rules. Don't forget about that and I will see you guys all in a future video. Bye guys!